it is wise that we put in mind that God actually established the new man in Christ. You see, what he planned to do with, with Adam is exactly what he did in Christ. He started a new breed of man. He started a new order of mankind on earth. And there is no way we can express this new man if we are ignorant of what he has done. That's why he gave us the gift of Jesus Christ. Do you understand? If you read Ephesians 4, hmm? very incredible script that um, Paul dished out when he talked about Christ ascending to heaven for the purpose of filling all things with himself himself Christ ascended because Christ wanted to fill all things with himself verse 10 says he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things it's for the singular purpose the intent that he might fill all things that's why he gave some he gave gifts to all men he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers this is what we have now come to call the fivefold ministry gifts or offices that the church now operates with. You see, these gifts, eh, they are supposed to help us engage Christ. They are supposed to help us make Christ tangible. Because that's the only reason that we have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit on our inside, it gives us the testimony of Jesus. It makes us witness to, to Jesus Christ. Remember Acts chapter 1 verse 8, he said, And you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me. Very incredible. Everybody is playing a role. Everybody is bringing something to the table. It's actually for the edification. Now, it's, 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 now, now see, listen. After he gave us this gift, the gifts are for the perfecting of the saints. The perfecting of the saints is a process of perfecting so that we can come back to the original class, the standard of Christ. We can conform onto the measure of the fullness of the image of Christ. You know, we like to use that word, the design and the specification of Christ. It's called the perfecting of the saints. This, 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 the stature. That's it. That's it. The full measure. That's called the perfected. The full measure of the stature of Christ, and for the work of the ministry. The work of the work of the ministry is not what happens in the church. The work of the ministry is what the church does in the world. We are the light of the world. The ministry. If you read Isaiah chapter sixty-one you will realize that the ministry is the rebuilding of ancient ruins, the repairing of ruined cities, the, the rebuilding of the desolations of many generations. It is in the world. We are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. The work of the ministry is the process that Christ is carrying out in the world when i mean the world i mean the system that governs the conduct of men that's the work of ministry so that means god gave us the gift in the church so that we can grow up into the fullness of christ 
and then we will now be able to bring fulfillment to the statements that Jesus made. So long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. John chapter 9 verse 5. And for the edifying of the body of Christ, the edifying of the body of Christ, truth actually edifies, it builds, it grows. We are supposed to be growing. We are supposed to be building. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why he gave us this gift. Why? He says, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That's the goal. That's why we have apostles. That's why we have teachers. That's why we have pastors, evangelists, and prophets. There is one goal. Everybody is bringing something to the table so that the church can become Christ. The church can become Christ. You hear what I said? The church can become Christ. God has plans for saviors to rise up out of Zion. These are things that must happen this end time. The saviors must rise up out of Zion. We must reign on the mountains of Esau. We must be able to establish the government of Jesus Christ on earth. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That is the goal. But you see, without the ministry of the apostles, without the ministry of the prophets, who themselves are the ones that lay the foundation of everything, without the ministry of the teacher, the pastor, the evangelist, there's no hope that light will reach the world. That's why, that's why I've been able to put the distinction between any of these five and the people we have today who don't care about the growth of church. They don't care about the conform, conformity to the image and the stature of Jesus. They are actually church owners. They are church owners. They are not representing the five because these five cannot be falsified. These five were given these gifts for one thing, that the testimony of Jesus will be present in the church. So anybody that is doing another thing and he doesn't have business with the testimony of Jesus, the person is a church owner. The person now owns the church. The person has the right to bless and curse whoever he wants to bless and curse. The person has the right to excommunicate anybody so long as they feel the person is running against the tread. You understand what I'm saying? That is where we are today. And until we, we restore the place of these five, the apostle to set the order, to, 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 to determine and define the doctrine of Christ, not the doctrine of tithes, not the doctrine of the one law or something, or doctrine of feet washing, or doctrine of the mantle. It's the doctrine of Christ. Nothing will happen. Until, we, until teachers come, until prophet come to, 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 to ensure that they can direct the church in the testimony of Jesus, bringing comfort, strength, and edification to the church, bringing encouragement to the body that we can actually make Jesus live. We can do it. It is what we, were, we are here for. Until the prophets help the church and direct the church on this path, there will be no light in the world. Until the evangelist now become the bridge between the church and the world to bring the world bring the people of the world to the place of acceptance before god and repentance so that they can join in what god is doing or what god has done and what god is still doing in christ hello the work that god is working to make sure that all of us align ourselves with what brings him pleasure it's only christ that brings god pleasure nothing will happen until the teachers come and ground us and let us feed us with the knowledge of Christ. I was talking to my beloved elder sister yesterday and I was telling her that the message that the church preaches today is Christ. Not deliverance, not breakthrough, not healing, not prosperity. Even if all these things come in Christ, we are not preaching those things in Christ. We are preaching Christ so that you will come into the your own quota of 
the knowledge of Christ so that you within your sphere can make Christ present that's what the teacher does the teacher grounds us puts our root into the ground then finally the pastor another was the shepherd the pastor is the one that nurtures the church the pastor is the one that tends to the church the pastor is the one that ensures that the process of change growth transformation and development in the process of perfection is rightly applied down to the individual member of the body so that all can encounter christ and grow in this knowledge of christ and we can be able to express christ and and manifest christ that's the goal that's the goal that we can manifest christ today we can make christ tangible today and this is what we live for this is why we have this fire this year 2018 is the time for the unity of the faith that now we'll begin to break into the the, the truth we begin to assess ourselves based on the christ that we have embraced based on the christ that lives on our inside and then um, it is my it is my pleasure to 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 bring this body of light and and make it known just just like this this real-time expression of the mind of god is this gospel of the kingdom being preached and the nations are hearing my name is odion i'm doing this for destiny Incorporated. god bless you